And the mayor of Washington, D.C. is letting a lot of this stuff. She's just like happy. She hates Donald Trump. She hates him, but she'll let her city get torn to shreds if she thinks it makes the president look bad. So he's like, I have the power to throw people in jail. And if you're caught, if you go to Washington, D.C., and you go to the Lincoln Memorial, and you spray paint anything on there, or you try to topple Abe Lincoln out of his big chair, or if you deface it in any way, if you throw something at it, 10 years in federal prison is what you could be looking at. And that's retroactive, which means anyone who did it, you know, uh, what, back two weeks ago, if they catch you, you could be prosecuted and you could be sent to prison for 10 years. It's the law and order. This comes back to something that we talked about a little earlier. This comes back to something that Kayla, Kaylee McEnany was discussing in the White House press briefing yesterday. And I believe that this is Donald Trump's strategy for re-election in 2020. Listen to what she said again. Uh, let's be clear here. The states are responsible for policing their streets. The governors, the mayors are responsible for ensuring that our streets are safe, that the American people are protected. And what we have seen is in far too many Democrat-run states and Democrat-run cities, we have seen violence and chaos and nothing like the law and order that we saw here in D.C. when President Trump stepped in and surged the National Guard. And so what I think the president is doing here, what I think his strategy is for 2020 to win a re-election is to let these Democrat strongholds, New York City, Chicago, Minnesota, Seattle, Washington, Washington, San Francisco, all of these Democratic, Philadelphia even, these cities where the Democrats have been running the show for years, he's going to let them burn. He's going to let the people destroy their own towns. He's going to let the mayors just sit back, relax, and do nothing. He's going to let the governors struggle to find answers. And then he's going to come in with the National Guard. He's going to come in with whatever federal forces and, and needs, and he's going to fix the problem. He's basically going to show people that the Democrats that you elected, that the Democrats that you elected to put in charge of your, your city, your neighborhood. I mean, there's nothing more personal than where you live. And Matt, you know, when something happens a thousand miles away, eh, if something happens in D.C., whatever, we don't live there. But if something happens down the street from you, it becomes your business. And you look at your mayor and go, how can you let this happen? And then you look at your governor and say, how is this happening in my state? And if all of these Democrats continue to fail at the, at the simple and straightforward task of enforcing the laws of that city and the laws of that state, then they're going to get voted out. People are going to realize what the problem is. The problem isn't the White House. It's not their job. Donald Trump's job is not to enforce the laws in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It's the governor's job to make sure that you're safe in whatever state you choose to hang your hat in. And that, I believe, is one of his strategies moving forward. He'll protect the federal monument, monuments and he'll throw your butt in the, in the pokey. But every other Democratic mayor and governor, you it's up to you to make sure that your people are safe. And if you don't, then you're going to pay for it at the polls, not the president. It's an interesting strategy. And I hope it works.